Another guy there, just kind of hanging off the platform partially. Cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. He's a runner, that one. I mean... In some games, this would be portrayed as like, you had a choice and you massacred them. I mean... No, I didn't. And pretending I had a choice doesn't make your narrative any stronger. If anything, it makes it weaker. Um, what is it? Spec Ops The Line. I've never watched it. I mean, Wooly did that LP months ago and I should fucking watch it. I know that does it rather tastefully to my understanding. I think? It does it in a way that's probably not as ham-fisted as others. But I really hate it where it's like... Yeah, you know, you spend a game massacring all these bad guys and then you get to the one character who's important. They build up to it somewhat of a degree as opposed to nothing at all. And then they go on for an hour or two about how it's a tragedy that you murdered them. When they were going to kill you. And put you in a life-threatening situation. Yeah. Don't know if that seems like a rant or not, but I think you can understand the kind of thing I'm getting at. I mean, there's morale, you know, yeah, the fact that there's no morality being shoved in my face makes me actually consider it. Um, in somewhere like Blight Town, they're a little more aggressive, and they're a little more lively, so I don't feel as bad. In Valley of Defilement, like, these guys aren't particularly strong. I mean, watch them kill me in a second, that'll be hilarious. Like, they're slow, they're, they're kind of weird with their hits. They're not particularly challenging. Valley, they're running... Oh, sorry, um, Blight Town, they're fucking sprinting at you, swinging spears and clubs. These guys are kind of just lumbering up to you and, like, swinging, like, a dagger like that. Yeah, so there's another fucking poison one up there. Um, yeah. Not naming names with games. There's none in particular that inspired that ire within me. Inspired the ire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's in Elven by Parkway Drive, Ire. It's pretty cool to my understanding. I'm st I think I still like killing with a smile for most, but I'm a very casual Parkway fan. Parkway cool though. Very cool. Like me some metal. Don't know if this has been stated or anything. Oh, there you are, buddy. There we go. So yeah, Shaman guys do that. They give you chunks of faint stone. And some of that too. Some of that spice. Give you that spice, boy. Good shit. Here you are. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that whole thing did sound like any game in particular. Um, I don't blame you. Because I wasn't referring to anything in particular. But I feel that could be a couple of different games. So that's the boss right ahead. What are we meant to be black phantoms out here? I feel like there's another one waiting to ambush me, but I can't remember. Yeah, I thought that was honestly meant to be, um... Something. Huh. Well, we'll come back to you in a sec, man. It's actually a pretty cool boss. It's not very tough, but... Yeah, it's got some cool gimmicks. It's also pretty gr grotesque. You know, in case you didn't like masses of leeches. You see, the difference is, there are black leeches in Demon Souls, and white leeches in Dark Souls 3. Oh, well, the shaman set just flew off the edge, so to speak. So, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. We're gonna whack on this, because Cloak is far more important. He's fucking trying to, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, uh, you got to admire his tenacity, though. So, if you couldn't tell, we're nearing that lizard, finally. We're finally getting there. Hence the cloak. Now, it's not quite around this corner, but we're almost there. So, the temptation would be to run off the cliff with said lizard. But you can imagine that's a fucking terrible idea. Whoops, my bad. I could have gone very badly. Yeah, it's... Um, swamp exploration will resume once we're there. Yep, that light should look familiar because I'm pretty sure that's it. 
We're gonna ignore you. We're gonna ignore you. We're just gonna get to it. Fuck this. I don't... Yeah, I don't think you can even follow me up there, poor guy. Maybe you can. It's not like many enemies have climbing animations in Souls games. Come on. I'm probably gonna piss off a wizard doing this. No. Alright, let's just check. Nothing behind me. This is the guy that can give us pure faint stone. Now, I'm obviously not too worried about that in this file. That said, would be nice to get it. So, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Kick indeed, friend. So, that's where we got my second mid and hammer all that time ago. And we've made it. How about that? We did it, guys. We saved the city. And we almost have enough. Oh, fucking. Every time. Every bloody time. I should just be watching for the particles. Yeah, um, I've almost got enough to go back and get the um, scale armor boots, leggings, whatever the fuck they're called, I don't know. So this is the first area again, this is the first district. Over here though, is our friend Familia. Over here is our friend Familia. Yeah, so I've used like over 80 arrows. Cool. I feel like there's something there. Will require exploration later. Yeah, that's the island right there. That's the fucking one, officer. That's the one that <laughs> that uh, caused much pain. Not because I care about what's on it, but just so I can I even fucking see it from here now. It's right in front of me, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. So as you can see, four of them. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah, would not advise doing that, by the way. Okay, well... Wait, what the fuck? No, that's just another one. That's not the shaman. No, it is. How the fuck do you get back up, man? You have a walkway? Well, we'll go down and get that in a sec. Nothing. Time to go down and get it, then. I guess he walked all the way around. Good cardio, this guy. Good cardio. Yeah, see, we're not too far away from the settlement, are we? Yeah, well, I forget if there are any depraved ones down here. If there are, well, they're an addition from pure black. Nope. Hey, speaking of dark, I guess. Hey, hey, Dark Moon Cross. Anything? Nope. Alright, well. Cool. Let's explore the village and then we'll go shank the boss. Uh, maybe... Uh, you know what? Killing the boss first is probably a better idea. Is that way I can at least interact with the archstone. Yeah, that's probably the... That's probably the cool. Let's cast this back up. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that was their own accord or at the behest of someone, but, um, yeah, I'll get the item. This is the kind of stuff that makes me question said morality to begin with. This is like if you went into a band, oh, fucking, yeah, just a bandit camp in, like, some Ubisoft open world game. Or, like, you know, like a Far Cry or something. And you just had, like... Now, this guy's a cult leader who's killed hundreds of people in, like, a genocide. I don't know if that's the plot to five, but it might as well be. <laughs> um, to my understanding. And it's like, but you killed him and you're just as bad. You prove your way of living's no better than his. And it's like, no. That doesn't fucking work. That's stupid. Ah, uh, boy. I actually had Far Actually, yeah, no, we do have Far Cry 5 here. Um, we were very good ho host parents. Um, host family, to say, actually. I wasn't here in our case. I was like a host brother. But, um, you know, we get a student, show them around Australia, pop down to the big W, as you do, um, for some cheap games. We'll just show them around, mostly, the big shopping centres. Back before COVID, and he saw Far Cry 5 for, like, nothing. So, we uh, picked that up for him. Don't know if that was a great idea, 
but um, in Germany, that's apparently right at R, so there you go. Um, mm. He had a very solid plan. Um, he was going to take the games back that he bought for cheap and sell them to his friends for like double the price. That did quite eventuate though. He's probably too nice for that. And he didn't have the capacity to put that shit in his luggage. We gave him too many souvenirs, clearly. But anyway. As I was saying, morality in games only goes so far. You gotta make me feel villainous for me to actually agree with that kind of interpretation. Like, and even then, um, I guess the closest that's ever got me to feel like that, and again, I haven't played properly, I've only watched it, is Nier, the original. They probably do it very well in Automata 2. Yeah. From my understanding, Automata does some very cool stuff. I don't know if it... Yeah, I can't remember if people said it had the same impact as the original, but still. I mean, Platinum Combat, so that's cool. That only helps, if anything. Oh, probably got more people on board, which is nice. Hey, another show, it'll neat. Behind you. Yeah. I like Platinum, this has come up before. But yet, the morality in Nier, pretty good actually. There's a nice payoff um, after several playthroughs of it. Because you've got to play it four times through to get the full story. Hold on a second. So, something I meant to say earlier, apparently the giant depraved ones will come fight our friend over here. So I'm hoping that's not what he was trying to do. Yeah, okay, let's buy your damn boots. What are they called? Mere and leggings, yeah. We are almost full up, so we can't carry this set. We actually can't. Alright. We'll have to buy it later, though. Okay, I think I grabbed everything from the village. I think there's some stuff in the water. There's some stuff down there. Yeah, so as you can see, two more of them and... Poison caster. I'll look at the shaman set in a second, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. Things were just delayed. So how do we get down there again? Yep, okay, yeah, sick, sick. I had an idea. Okay, yeah, no, good. This is the platform you can just climb up. Yeah, imagine how easy and how great that would be to have in Souls. You know what? You know what? Yeah, I'll phrase it like that. <laughs> Out of everything that people will climb for to come back in Elden Ring, how, how crazy would it be to have um, fucking Vaulting come back? I think I mentioned it before, but it, it is a nice touch how in um, the tutorial, tutorial area of... The Demon's Soul remake, they actually put in a spot to vault, so you actually learn how to do it. Because this game never really teaches it to you. Because, yeah, I just knew to do it when I saw a Strava. And if you've played all these other games, like, you wouldn't have any idea that that's what you're meant to do. Alright, I think if I go forward, there's nothing else. There is nothing else. Wait, yep, yep, we can get up there. Sick. Hmm. Let's venture this way, just to see. Nope, cool, we're gonna go to the boss, that's the shaman's little island. I call him the shaman just because that's what he drops. I think they are actually called shamans though. Um, what, the fair names and the wiki dot or whatever. Mm -hmm. Rightio, once we're outside the boss room once again, I'll look at that armor. This is just to make sure there is nothing in the area that I have not killed. Everything is dead. The genocide complete. I fooled you. Look at my armor and my axe. I'm actually the bad guy. I thought I was good all along, but then the plot made me realize how wrong I was. Checkmate me. The shaman's clothes. Clothes of a dubious, heretical shaman. Bags of sore knickknacks are attached all over. Some sort of foul-smelling Tello is also stuck to it. I don't actually know what a Tello is, but sure. Um, I know it's one of those shit kids from, um, um, Twilight Princess, but that's about it. Scale armor crafted from white metal. 
What what do they call that? Marcasite. White metal in Dark Souls. See, it's connected after all, guys. Yeah. And Solaire's the fucking worm. And given to the knights who protect sacred temples. Murd, now long lost. It's the name of the area where the first temples were built. It's heaviness slightly impedes salmon and regen. So yeah, this is what Sasuke was wearing. Um, alright, let's just have a look, one sec. Yep. Yep, okay, cool. No difference? A tabi. So yeah, yeah, this is as close to, um, eastern set you'll get in this game, I suppose. So there we go. It's a nice color. Let's see if we can customize our fashion. Well, that looks not bad, but kind of dumb. At least it's not clipping. At least it's not like the Faram set or the Black Iron set in 3 where you can fucking see your neck. Yeah, look at this. Ah, beautiful. Now we're going back to what I like. I can optimize armor for the grand finale. So wait, what's actually the point then? It's lighter? But wait, why? Now hold on though. Why is the... So the shaman says just inferior to the black set? Really? That sucks. Don't know why that'd be the case, but okay. Alright, so boss time. Hey, um, you might have noticed things in this area do not like fire. This is no exception. No, you're not going to get a cutscene. I believe. Could be wrong. Nope, we don't. So, this boss isn't exceptionally hard or anything, but if you let him, he can fuck you up. So, meet the Dirty Colossus. If you've seen the, um, what's the video? The Rotten Thing, whatever it's called. The, um, Adam Barker did like a remaster of it, effectively. It was an old Dark Souls PvP video, Dark Souls 1. So you'll notice for no damage. Um, and it's a video of like this guy walking around in like stone armor using the, um, uh, what you call it? The, um, oh yeah, we've got flies on us now, great. Uh, using, uh, fucking, he's got, he's got the egg head on his head. Um, and some various other things. Using whips and that to just kind of like, oh, that was the wrong thing. To, um, you know, act, act like a mini boss of sorts. But anyway, I should, I should talk about the boss's mechanics. So you'll notice flies. They deal damage over time. You'll notice we didn't deal damage to them initially either. And the weirdest thing is, oh, body explosion. Hey, Nito. Or the rotten, rather. Um, yeah, you'll notice that initially we weren't dealing damage to it. That's because we had to knock off the um, armor around it. The surprising part is I could roll it off, which is bizarre. Now, as to what this actually is, I got fucking nothing. All I know is, boy, this thing looks cool. So this is where I guess the leech mechanic from Dark Souls 3 came from. He's gonna go for the body explosion again. Let's grass up just in case. I'm not killing this guy super fast because I just want to admire this design. It's super weird. Now, I don't actually know what it is. I don't know what's in control here. I shouldn't have rolled the punch. That was dumb. Is it the core? That's what I wonder. You know what? I should be circling this way. Oh. Body closing. Yeah. I mean, it looks kind of like the Sucker Stone now I think about it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. So we actually have this really big arena to fight him in. And yeah, it's poison down there too. Wait, what happens if we duck and cover here? Oh, this is cool. I've never seen this because I've never come down here. That's cool actually. That's really neat. Oh, too bad you can't walk on the fog wall. That'd be awesome. Uh, um, please tell me we can get up. Yes, okay, we can. Okay. Oh, fuck this. Excuse me a second. I want to equip fireball. Just try it out. 
And this is the longest Dirty Colossus fight in existence, just like Dragon God, I guess. Yeah, also, these guys do not insignificant damage. They do quite a bit if you let them. Speaking of which, fire. Yeah, here, <laughs> here. Yes. See, he really does not like fire, does he? Yeah, okay, we'll start ending this now. I just wanted to show it off. Because it's such a weird design. It's not quite the bo uh, the uh, body horror of Bloodborne. But it's so fucking weird. I love it. Alright. A few more hits and we're done. Okay, yep. No. Cool. The fact it was lit up made me think we could. we got the body exposed most likely, right? Yep. Alright, let's just two-handed and be done with it. Running attack. Alright, see you, Dirty Colossus. I'm not even going to try to put the ring of avarice on, it's not worth it. A lot of souls, though. I mean, it's not hard, but I guess it's just, you can be overwhelmed with damage, I think is the intention. I think that's the idea. Now, what I'm interested in is... Am I going to be able to really... Well, I'm going to hit the Arch Zone, but I'm thinking I'm just going to backtrack right now and try to clear out the swamp. I wrote a Demon Soul. Um, yeah, we've got to go in to get it, apparently. I'm going to backtrack and start getting some stuff. I really didn't want to have to with this amount of weight, but that just means we swap to Herculean Strength when required. Just because, like... Uh, you guys will just have to watch me crawl through the fucking swamp again, so... It's not really worth it. I don't know how I'm gonna cut up this, like, trio or so of episodes. See, like, bugger all full damage there for some reason. I could climb up, but fuck it, we've got how many? 20 Royal Lotus. Um, okay, you get good. Yeah, more priesties. They only have, like, a certain amount of bodies anyway. Uh, bodies here. Yeah. Um, that they put items on. And, I, yeah, do they have the female model in this game? People said they don't. I can't remember. And even then, it'd be like, um, the one female body you actually find in Dark Souls 1. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's one. And it's very intentionally placed as a consequence. Alright, so we'll do this first, because this is the easier part. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're out here, aren't you, too? I totally forgot. I didn't even think about that. Of course you're out here, man. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what... Like, maybe it's to do with, like, the server. Maybe they changed it. Okay, fuck you guys. Let's just... Oh, yeah, you get to see the attack, finally. So they blowed up. We are not a fan of that. And they become fat and scary. But you just fucking pop them anyway. Yeah. Um, must be a server change. Hey, Maristone, neat. Hey, buddy. He's gonna go for the bite. Cute. So apparently it's not a given chance you'll get the colorless demon souls, but I've got them every time. True, mate. True, bad. Let's just have a look out here, because I forget what else is here. I don't remember if there's an edge to this place. Like, there's a wall, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think you can just... Yeah, there we go. You can't just run out into nothingness. Yeah, okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing. Oh boy, that island with the three depraved ones is going to be fun. Sorry, four. I, you know what, I almost don't want to do it. Yeah, no, correction, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I very much don't want to do it, but I think I'll force myself to. Yeah, the only downside, yeah, downside, downside with doing the boss is, well, we can't get invaded anymore, so. Oh, wait, that's not a downside. Ha ha ha. Ah. Checkmate me. Radio, let's hit up and find something pretty fucking rad. So yeah, slugs. That's not the cool thing. I mean, eh, maybe, depending. 
They're not great for the garden, but you know, they just they just kind of there. I ain't gonna judge. They're doing what they're doing. Now I don't think there's any ambushes up here from depraved ones. There might be slugs that fall off the uh, roof. Can't remember exactly. Well, it's exciting. I don't actually remember everything about this area. Even though I remember most. Excuse me one sec. Thank you for your patience, Slug Chan. I missed. Amazing. Amazing! Hey, ooh, fuck yeah, pure. I'm never gonna use it, but neat. Cool, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah, that's right. So the shamans can also drop the uh, pure sucker stone. Uh, sorry, pure faint stone as well. All right, that interesting thing I talked about. Well, what's here? It's a fucking nest. We found it. The G virus. Well, um, I, I don't know. Do a thing that's like an alien's homage. Homage. <laughs> they call it a homage. So let's see. Can we just hit it? We get to hit it a few times. I, this isn't actually hurting them, to my knowledge, or to my knowledge, I should say. Let's just fucking do this. Weird spirals. Fucking Junji Ito over here. Come on, fall, you fucks. There's something down there now. So that's cool. Where the fuck they go? Let's well, like just piece that, man. Legendary hero soul. Radical. I don't remember if there's anything else here. But yeah, um, people got fucking eaten by these things. I'd say they're not to be trifled with, but they're not really tough, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, if you're not a character like us, I guess, like the player, who is apparently a god king at murking stuff, well, you know, it could probably be tough. Oh, cool, they dropped something. Sucker. Sucker. Yeah, so there's a lot of them now, isn't there? Now, I don't have a lot of arrows left. I got a rotten one, so. Yeah, it's quite a few slugs, isn't it? Again, not exactly tough. But, the sheer number of them means if you got hit, it would not be a fun time. You could get fucking sunlocked hard by these guys. Holy shit, look at them. They're coming. They're coming. Alright, you sluggy fucks. Let's go. Oh. Oh boy. So yeah, we're technically still in the swamp, that's why. Look at them fucking move though. They're fast when they want to be, holy shit man. Alright, let's try it, let's try a different approach. They're ruining my frame rate. These guys are fast, what the fuck. I can't probably two shot them, which sucks, but... That's a sword, alright. You might recognize it. Let's just fucking... Let's try to separate the herd, because this is fucking up my frame rate. I fucking played Blight Town last night. This, this is worse. Somehow. I don't know. But they've managed it from soft again. Heroes of frame rate. Okay. Let's swap back to big boy. You can try to fucking combo me all you want, slugs. It ain't happening. So there's... Okay, I was going to say there's not many of them left, but there's quite a few, actually. Look at them. Fucking Christ, they're aggressive for no reason. Alright. Fuck you. Yeah, Shakespearean dialogue here. It's like DMC. Devil may cry. Fucking Christ, man. There's so many of them. And yeah, I probably don't need to kill them all, but honestly, it's going to make things a lot easier. Because I don't want to get fucking ambushed by 20 slugs, moving at incredibly high speeds for some fucking asinine reason. Right, just you. Slug genocide. I don't even know if that was enough of pure. It might have been. I don't think it was, though. 
Shard. Let's have a look. Because I've got to be... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. We got to we gotta leave after this. 100%. We got to go back to the Nexus. Ah, we'll just put on the other ring. Let's put it on now. Fuck this. I don't have much choice. Yeah, I'm dead on. I have to. Herculean. Alright. So, that thing looks familiar. Yeah. Should. To all you Armored Core fans out here. Ah. Remember that series? The one I've never played? Yeah. I feel sorry for you guys. Yeah, we'll pick it up in a sec. Let's enact Sluggy Vengeance. You fucks. Alright. Give it a second. We're doing this first. Ah. You're at my side all along. My guiding moonlight. A large sword of moonlight. Anyone who's a Souls fan worth their salt. Or a Kingsfield fan, I suppose. That'd be better. Knows what this is. So let's see, where's the where's the weight? Two, yeah. That's right. This thing's obscenely light. Yeah. So let's get to Solid Land and have a look at this. So unfortunately, 24 Faith, we're not getting there for this. Like Dark Souls 1, and unlike that heretical version in Dark Souls 3, pure magic. No physical at all. And it's got a magic block of 80, that's pretty rad. The legendary large sword that reflects moonlight, widely known in association with Moonlight Knight Bito. Bito, whatever. It's one of the few revelations from God. A blue crystal blade is composed of only light, so it's impossible to block without a shield. Sorry, with a shield. Because nothing has a 100% magic block in this game. So it's that thing where it's got like a little blade inside it. You can make it out just there. It's what you think it is. So it's really not that heavy. So if I had been going a faith build all along, I would have come here as fast as I fucking could have. So yeah, it's um, what you think it is. I can't remember if it has the projectile, because if it does, I, j I can't use it because, well, lack of faith. Metaphorically and literally. Yeah, so that's cool. 900, yep, no, it does. With durability that high, it's got to have it. Ah, oh, that's a fucking shame. I can't show it off. Damn. Oh, well. Sorry about that, guys. So we're heading back into the swamp. There's one last thing to do. Actually, there's two, technically. Fuck. We're here. So that should be the boardwalk above us in a moment, right? Not quite yet. There it is. That's the item I fucking missed. So I think that's where the Black Phantom's hanging out. Think. We're gonna find out very quickly. Nope. Okay, it's not this island. This is the one with the thief, is it? Dark Moon Grass. Okay, neat. Making me look like a fucking liar, huh? Thank you, game. All right. Well, two items that way. So we mosey on towards there. Yeah, there we are. There she is. You would have seen her on loading screens. Not that you'd know who she is yet. That is Celine Vinland. I believe that's Anti-Magic Field. That is Anti-Magic Field. So let's cast Regen while we can. She is on her way to kick my ass. You can hear it. Well, I mean I can. I don't know if you can. The static. Oi, over here. Ah, I can be a good shot when I need to be. Fuck yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, Celine. Over this way. I want to fight you on land. I don't know how tough you are. I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. Sick. Really? Come on. She's kind of given up, huh? Alright. She has a cool weapon we're going to get from beating a Black Phantom form. 
Yeah, there we go. Thankfully. Come on. Yeah, so she can't cast either. So, uh, that's clever. Very well done there, Celine. Alright, come on. She has a cool little dagger known as the Blind. Yeah, it is a pretty fucking rad name for a dagger. So, it's got a similar trait with the Moonlight that we just picked up. Which is... That... It can hit through shields. As you will... Oh, you were gonna see, but... She missed. Now, I don't know how hard she hits. That was an accidental push that turned out to be a genius play on my behalf. Look at this. Look at me. Fucking Demon Souls PvP expert. Now, I don't know if she heals. There's at least one more thing we got to pick up once we get her. I don't want her to backstab me, though. So, she's out here. We'll virill her. Who we'll find in pure white tendency, looking for her brother Jarl Vinland, the person who was supposedly with Maiden Australia. Now the blind, do we have the decks to use it? I don't think we do. 24, yeah, I had a feeling. So, it's more like a curved sword. I can't remember, yeah, no, it must be designated as a curved sword then, I guess. Wait, what's this stab? That's a weird... That's a weird one. Okay. Let's have a look at it. The Blind. A curved sword with a clear blade. Widely known along with the courage of the dull gold knight, Selene Vinland. It is one of Vinland's treasures. The blade is illusory. Illusory. And a light... Sorry. And light as a feather. It can pass through a shield's defenses. So you didn't even get to see that, which kind of sucks. Now if we had the Dex, I could use that against the up and coming boss. Sorry, the upcoming boss, not the up and coming boss. Um, yeah, we're actually very close to one of the coolest bosses in this whole fucking game. I talk it up more, but I don't want to. Here we go, the Thief Ring. 